What's up guys, I'm back with another Halo 5 Forge video, and this is an update to the previous one that I made, showing how you can make a Scout Ammo Warthog. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest going back and watching that before watching this, as this video will make a lot more sense. But basically this video is a giant vehicle showcase, but there are a couple things I do want to discuss along the way, because they are important to know. Now you can see some vehicles here are practical, while those others are quite impractical, um, but they're still fun nonetheless, and I can see plenty of minigame um, options coming from this. That's one of the things I wanted to note, is that these vehicles, when they are destroyed, um, they won't spawn correctly, so if you're going to do a minigame, you want to have the vehicles indestructible and set to not respawn. Uh, these are just some of my favorite vehicles right here that I made. Um, the Pelicans open with uh, two of the tanks is just pretty fun. Um, the view when you're driving the Wraith is pretty awesome as well. It's kind of a first person view, which you'll see later. Um, one of the things to note is that you can change the object properties. Um, say you weld the teleporter, you can change that once it's welded. Um, you can also change the colors. Granted, if you weld everything together, it's going to change all the colors. Um, you can even weld weapons to the vehicles, which is awesome. However, once you weld them, you can't pick them up. Now right here, you see that I've actually welded effects to vehicles, which is pretty cool, but unfortunately, it only works in Forge. Um, I learned how to do that from a Forge Hub user, Cookies for You, and I'll have a video on that later on how to make those vehicles work. Um, it's quite simple when you combine it with my method. And right here you see the Phaeton uh, welded with the Pelican. Now this is one of my favorite vehicles right here. Um, it just looks cool and it's fun to drive. Um, if we finally get a race type, I, I think I'd probably make a racetrack with this. Just because it looks ridiculous, but, but it really is cool. Um, one thing that's pretty awesome, I haven't been able to test it thoroughly. Um, but the Banshee can be welded uh, with turrets. Um, as you'll see here, I, I welded it um, with the turret and the Pelican, and you can fly it, but I haven't had somebody be on the turret while it's flying. But I have che checked, and the turret can be indeed um, operated. Um, whereas with other vehicles, the turret just becomes decorative. Another thing I wanted to mention is that you don't have to weld an ammo crate to a primitive block to make a custom vehicle. You can just use two primitive blocks, three, or even four. As long as you have two, you're good to go. So the, the potential for, for this is just pretty awesome because you can maybe make a miniature base that moves um, because the, the larger vehicles can take a lot of the object weight pretty well and they still drive pretty well. and. Some of these vehicles, like this one, would probably be for just machinima, unless you altered it um, to give yourself a better view, but surprisingly for this being a glitch, everything drives really well and runs quite smoothly. I didn't really have any kind of hiccups, um, with the exceptional, like I said, spawn issues if it blows up, but uh, you can change that in custom game set. And this is one of my favorite vehicles, because you got the Scout, or excuse me, the Chain Gun Warthog combined with Civilian Vehicle. And uh, it just looks pretty cool. And you can't take any damage unless you're on the chain gun um, or somebody shoots the tires. Uh, but you can even shoot out the side of the vehicle. And this one was really more of a proof of concept, like many others, just to show that it could be done. I just took uh, several bushes and welded them to it. But it drives quite nicely and it's pretty cool. So later on you'll see probably my favorite vehicle that I made. Um, unfortunately it doesn't work in in custom games so maybe that gives a little bit of something away but uh, you'll see it and I think you'll think it's pretty cool as well so this is just a car welded to the Banshee and again it flies quite well I don't know what you'd use this for other than some kind of uh, mini game but uh, yeah onto the Phaeton with Pelican this flies quite nicely I when I was messing around with it it didn't glitch at all um, it was just pretty smooth um, so I haven't tried, but you might be able to weld a turret with this and have like a uh, flyable pelican with a turret on it, which would be awesome. So if you guys like this video, make sure to stay tuned to my channel because um, I'm going to have at least two videos coming out. Uh, one the tutorial I mentioned and one I'm keeping under wraps, but it's going to be pretty awesome. 
Um, it could potentially change the way at least part of the game is played, so stay tuned for that. And here is my favorite vehicle that I made. Um, as you get close, you see why. I'm really hyped about it for infection. If somebody made an infection vehicle game type, it'd be awesome, but I like to call it the Hellhog instead of Hellhound or the Reaper. Um, but it's pretty awesome. It's got flames shooting out the back and skeletons in the back and one in the passenger seat. Unfortunately, in a custom game, when you drive away, the flames stay put. But in Forge, they stay welded together and it just looks pretty awesome. And you'll see that in a second. The sound effects are also welded to the vehicle, but in custom games, they also stay in place. So here's just a demonstration of that, but that's about all for this video. So. If you like this, feel free to share it around. Um, maybe 343 will actually incorporate this vehicle welding because uh, this custom vehicle thing, and particularly this one, is awesome. If you guys are interested in checking out this vehicle showcase, I'll have a link to it in the description on Halo Waypoint. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.